It says, what's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Wishing you well, wishing you greatness. And I uh, just want to shoot this video to talk about this recession that's going on because I don't know, but it's not a big talk about it that much. Like, I don't see a lot of talk about it too, too much on, like, social media. It's not, a, not that I'm not seeing enough of it, but it's not a trending topic, more likely to say. It's not a trending topic. And the reason why I'm saying that is because... Like for an average person going on and about, that's part of some people's conversation right now, you know? Because we're not seeing it too much on the media as much as how this gonna outplay, you know? And we can tell that it's a recession by what's going on in the world, you know? Because the different countries having the inflation, the different prices that's going up on food, the different cutbacks with companies and and just a wide variety of different things that you can see because you can even see like some um some fast food restaurants and even some regular restaurants like even like your mom and pop restaurants they're starting to cut some deals in order to have people come inside the restaurant and purchase because a lot of people now is not going out as much as as how they used to be you know like the cutback on groceries even if you go to the grocery store a hundred dollars not gonna get you a hundred dollars worth of grocery that it did like a year or two ago so a lot of people got to start watching how they're budgeting the groceries and it's tight because if you go into the grocery store you have a limited supplies so you also have to watch what you can get with that limited supply at the same time watch how much you can get with the amount that's on your budget because what's going on now is you seeing that the supply chain is cutting back. Well, we already know about that. And also the gas prices is also having an effect on that because the tractor trailers and the supply chain and the cutbacks and just a wide variety of things. So it's definitely a recession is going on. And we have to either think of it as an opportunity or are we gonna panic? So going forward, we gotta think about it and weigh out the options that's going on. Is this gonna be the opportunity or is it gonna be time for panic? Because looking at different things and the way life is going, we can make it an opportunity. A lot of times people make money after the recession because of what they did during the recession. They take opportunity of the recession. They took a hold of what's going on and you know basically make lemonade out of lemons type situation. But I just want to come on here and discuss about how it's a recession going on. People's getting laid off. We already said that, but, you know, companies not hiring like how they used to or, um, you know, the workforce. People are doing more responsibility, more tasks than they was before. And inflation is at like almost, what, 8.5%, but your annual increase or your, your uh, raise is like, two to five percent you know maybe like five percent at the best so it's time to think about what's the recession going on it's time to think about how we're going to take advantage of the opportunity you know maybe um do little different side hustles how can you invest during this downtime and how you can take opportunity of this situation because right now it's a recession like you got to look at it. The numbers is out there. The GDP numbers came out. I think it was back to back, um, back to back quarters where where the GDP wasn't supposed to be where it's supposed to be at. They're gonna have another um, Fed meeting is gonna be coming up within another week or so. You got the the CPI data, which is gonna be coming out. You know that got the unemployment, the prices of groceries, the prices of all the stuff included into it. So just just looking at the wide variety of the way. That, life is and way life is operating you definitely gotta think about like yeah it's a recession it's a recession people people not even spending money like how they used to like even for example i saw somebody was talking about like you know time to get side hustle so different side hustle ideas was going through all the old stuff you got and selling them on like facebook facebook market group or macari or craigslist or selling them on ebay like you have old stuff that you're not used to you know I was thinking about the idea and I'm about to implement it. Like I have a, a storage unit 
and I have stuff inside the storage unit that I'm not really using. So it's time to start putting those stuff up on eBay, up on Macari, up on Facebook Marketplace, Craigslist, and start getting rid of it and start building up some some funds to put up those funds into like emergency, whatever, because it, it's a recession. And, and in order to get through the recession, you gotta prepare for the recession and take opportunity recession. So once again, it's Ansley D. Hope y'all got some value out of this. Leave me leave me a, 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 a comment. Let me know if you think it's a recession going on or if it's just a, a fluke of things and it's just the way of how the market is and the way how the economy is. And um, it's just hearsay right now. Um, I don't know that like the virus is still about, you know, we got other things we gotta think about. Um, the feds is talking about, you know, quantitative tightening. That means cutting back on the money printing. So they even talking about not even putting money out there like that anymore. They want to cut back. Matter of fact, in, instead of printing money, they want to do the thing of quantitative tightening where they want to take money off the circulation. So they want to pl take plans of having billions and billions of money, like, you know, the, the, um, now I'm watching this lady, uh, she worked at a, at a spa and I guess she came outside and I guess it must be slow so she's exercising so I was looking at her wondering what she was doing but come to realize she's exercising just waiting like I don't know see if people come through but going back to what I was saying the quantitative titan they're gonna cut back on printing money and taking money out of circulation so the fiat money is gonna be cutting back and you know, uh, a lot of executive orders went through. I'm gonna talk about that on another video. Executive orders of um, how the money circulation is gonna be going on and how um, we might get out of the fiat and go into a CBDC and just a wide variety of things. But in all of that, all included is the recession. And you can tell it's a recession just by, just by the numbers, the numbers alone. That's the numbers alone. But once again, it's Ainsley D. Hope you got some value out of this. I'll see you next time. I'm going to get out of this way, this lady exercising. I, I'll talk to you in the next video. Peace.